Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to the channel. Now 2024 is almost here and this is going to be my last video for 2023 and I thought it would be a good idea to give some, you know, good old fashioned cyber security career advice for the coming year to help you out. And, you know, the market is going rapidly. The good news is that cyber security is still a very, very strong field. Things like AI, uh, cloud, digital transformations, they are driving the need for more and more professionals. Okay, so that is... Uh, from the good news perspective. The bad news is even if uh, the market is growing, there are still sh shortages and people are not able to get jobs, right? You know, because companies are like uh, mandating very certain requirements like having degrees, having certifications, and they're not looking at how qualified the people are. So they are, you know, th these two things are clashing with each other. So there, there's a shortage, but at the same time, there's also people are not able to get jobs within the industry. And that leads to a lot of frustration when they're not able to get even the entry level jobs. So those two things are really clashing and a lot of people get frustrated because of that. So this is what I wanted to talk about today, like uh, some good old cyber security career advice, you know, for the coming year. And this is not about choosing a certification or which specialization you should do. I've already made those videos for the coming year. You can check those out, but I want to give some practical advice for the coming year, you know, which will help you out. So uh, before we go ahead, please do, like and subscribe to this channel, share this video if you found it useful and let's move ahead. So what, what are the pieces of advice I want to talk to you about? The first one is, in my opinion, you should do a gap assessment for 2024 for your career and that will tell you what you need to do. So what do I mean by that, doing a gap assessment? If you're in cybersecurity, you probably know about doing gap assessments, right? You gap against a standard or something. But here I mean, I want you to go find your ideal job, you know, on LinkedIn, or any career website and find out, check where are the show, like where are the gaps. So this is your ideal job and what are the skills or certifications you are missing and then use that to make a priority. Don't just say I'm going to do a certification for this year. Find your ideal job and then gap yourself against that job. Find out what are the things are missing. That will help you to create a proper prioritized career roadmap instead of just randomly doing things, you know. So this will give you a proper roadmap. It will tell you what you have to do and what you have to do to reach that job, whether it be the certification or a skill or a new training, whatever you have to do. OK, so the second thing which I wanted to talk about, and some people don't like it when I say this, but being very careful about switching your job, please, for this year in 2024. OK, I don't mean I like, please, I'm being very clear here. I'm not saying don't switch your job if you find a good opportunity, of course, but we dodged a recession in 2023, right? Good news. We did not get a recession. And hopefully in 2024, we will not get it also. But still, the market does shows that globally there might be a recession, right? So what I mean to say is do not change your job just for a job title or just for a, like a very small percentage of salary increase, right? Okay. If you can afford to sit for still for one more year, learn on the job, get more experience. Okay, please do that. Why? Because if you switch jobs and it does not, you're not compatible with that job, you're going to be in a serious problem because you cannot go back to the previous job. And like you will be in a market which is already quite saturated right now, right? So signs that 2024 might see a recession or at least a slowdown, okay? So like I said, if you can afford not to, please do not switch jobs, okay? Just for a title change or a salary increase, just because you don't like your job. But if you're not just, if you're having serious issues, of course, you might need to, but please don't get excited and switch jobs. And at that time, you, you'll have like serious problems because the job market will already be tough and you cannot go back to your previous job. So this is what I always advise. Do take a look and don't get excited. Don't make a decision out of haste, okay? And leaning from that also, please have a career backup plan for a, your cyber security career. And I just like in cyber security, you have disaster recovery plans, right? You have a business continuity plan for your company. You should have the same for your career also because layoffs were crazy in 2023. It was absolutely insane how many people, very, very qualified people got laid off. And unfortunately, these are expected to continue in 2024 also. Never ever make the mistake of thinking that you cannot be replaced, okay? A lot of people make this mistake. They think, oh, I'm like too important. No company would ever replace me. I'm Without me, the whole company would fail. That is a serious, serious miscalculation, okay? Never think that you cannot be replaced or your job cannot be outsourced, especially in today's environment, okay? So I've seen so many people who think that, that they are indispensable to the company, the company is their family, blah, blah, blah. 
and suddenly they find out that their job function is being re replaced or because of redundancies or because of like uh, difficult times the company is uh, like removing their position and it's a, like a huge shock to them so this is what i want you to do just like you have a disaster recovery for your plan for your company have one for your career also every company uh, nowadays is looking at ai it is looking at reducing their cost through outsourcing through consult like giving jobs to consultants right i myself know of so many people okay uh, in the UK, in the UAE, in the Middle East, who were laid off, who were in cyber security, okay? Very, very competent people, may way more competent than me. But it had nothing to do with their skills or competence, right? It had to do with the financial, uh, what the stress that the company was in. And that impacted them very badly. So please, I want you to make sure that you have a backup plan. So what can you do? I mean, simple things, of course, these are no, nothing secret, but have at least six months savings. You know, that emergency fund because that will give you that cushion. So at least calculate your salary and keep six months if you can, because that is amount, the amount of time usually takes for somebody, somebody to get a job, right? Uh, so have that ready for you. The second one is please build your network on LinkedIn. Don't just use LinkedIn to scroll and like and tell people you've got a new certification. Reach out to people. If you start building these connections when you've lost your job, then you will come across as like desperate and you will waste so much time. Start building it now when you have a job. And your network can save you and actually help you find a job when you need it the most. So the first one is savings. The third one is start reaching out to people on LinkedIn, connecting, building your network, sharing information on LinkedIn. Okay. And uh, the third one would be to build your own brand. Start uh, like writing on Medium, on YouTube, create a course on Udemy. Your brand will stay with you wherever you go. That's why it's so important because it's not linked with your job. Okay. So three things I wanted to tell you about that. And another thing is build using AI. So AI is very, very important nowadays. Every industry is getting impacted. So what you want to do is 2023 was like the hype year for AI, right? Everybody was hyping AI, how big it is and blah, blah. 2024, 2025 are going to be the maturity years where AI starts maturing and companies seriously start integrating it within their processes. And this is a very key skill to have. I want you to learn about this, okay? And by learning, I do not mean that just read about it, right? So Gen AI is going to be a trillion dollar market. And if you don't have the skills, you're going to get left behind. So a lot of people, they do, they just read articles about Gen AI all the time. Okay, Gen AI is this, Gen AI is that, AI is going to do this. They do not have any practical hands-on skills for securing AI. I've made many, many videos about how to start your AI security career. But simply put, if you have chat GPT+, plus, create your own custom GPT, start integrating with it APIs and see how it works, see how AI bots actually work, right? Create your own GPT and see uh, how it works and how like the API integration happens, okay? And if you want to get like, uh, if you in a company and they have things like Amazon or Azure or something like that, you can use their fully managed services, right? Like Amazon Bedrock. It, it gives you like a choice of high performing foundational models for AI from leading labs like Anthropic and all that. And you can build, use these to build generative AI applications with security, privacy, all those things integrated. And you can easily experiment with and start uh, like uh, creating those very, very powerful generative models. Do it yourself, okay? That will give you the skills to understand how generative AI works and how to secure them. So if your company is implementing some sort of an enterprise level Gen AI, get involved with that team and get those high paying skills and that, that will pay off in the long run considerably. And lastly, I want to talk about certifications, which is being smart about certifications. Uh, what does that mean? You know, I've made lots of videos about certifications and I've always tried to be balanced about them. So what I mean is don't just jump on the certification bandwagon and do a certification just because people are doing it, not seeing how it aligns with your career goals, okay? I have multiple videos on that, that you should choose a certification which actually makes sense and which actually helps your career. Don't do a certification because it shows us on the top 10, okay? Do one which actually helps your career and don't become a certification factory, okay? That will actually help you. So these were the, just uh, like a quick video about what I think you should be focusing on. I hope 2024 is going to be an awesome year for you, for your career, and it's like amazing all the end too. Uh, I hope this advice hel helps you. Please do take a look at it again so that you get the benefit of what I'm talking about. If you found this video useful, do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video. Thank you and hoping that 2024 is an awesome year for you. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video, guys.